Hey guys, so today I am filming my very first Thrift With Me video. I don't know why I've never done these kinds of videos before. It just makes sense because I vlog and then I also thrift a lot, so why wouldn't I just bring you along? Uh, one thing that's going to be different in my Thrift With Me's is it's not going to be one day equals one video, if that makes sense, because I usually go thrifting over the course of like a month to do my thrift hauls, so basically... You know, I'm going to take you on multiple thrifting trips over the next week or two or so or something. I don't know. It's very casual. It's just casual, clearly, because I don't have my makeup on or hair done or anything like that. But if you go thrif thrifting with me in real life, this is what I look like because I don't care. No, but really, I just I just go. I don't know. Some, most of the time, it's uh, spur of the moment kind of trips. You know, I just feel like hitting up a Goodwill mailman. Hi. I won't be sharing too many tips in this video as far as my thrifting like things that I do while I thrift because I am going to be doing a separate video on thrifting tips so stay tuned for that video. Once that video comes out I'll kind of just share with you what I'm doing more in depth but I think my first thrift with me video will be more b-roll footage with music and then a haul at the end and I have no idea. The thing about thrifting is you can't anticipate if I'm going to have enough for a haul um, whether it be uh, at one store I get enough stuff or I have to go to multiple stores over multiple days to get enough stuff. So I don't really know where this video is going to take us. I'm just going to start filming while I go thrifting over the next week or so and we're going to see what we can find. Mostly the stores that I hit up are Goodwills. I do want to try to branch out a little bit and find other kind of smaller stores, whether they're family owned or church owned, because um, usually I find some really good things there. So I kind of want to try to find those kind of stores. Anyway, let's go to the first Goodwill. I haven't been to this one in quite some time, so we're going to see if I can find it. Okay, so there were some really good items there. Like I showed you guys, there were the Doc Martens, the Vince Camuto boots. Um, this Goodwill always has like more high-end brands, which is interesting because it's not in the best area of where I live. Um, and the other one is more in the 
rich part of the neighborhood and they have less high-end brands. They still have some, of course. Anyway, so I didn't get the shoes, either pair. Um, obviously the Doc Martens weren't in my size. They were labeled as a nine. They were clearly not a nine when you look at them. They were very small. So I didn't get those. Plus the pricing. You guys saw how much they are charging for their items. Granted, they know the worth now. Like obviously Doc Martens are extremely expensive shoes as is, like new. So they get that they can hike up the price on those. Also same with the Vince Camuto boots. Um, I would have gotten them because they were my size, but, and they were beautiful. Like I wish that they were more comfortable, but to me, they would just be way too hard to break in. They were digging into my ankles. It just wasn't a comfortable shoe. So I knew I wouldn't spend the time breaking them in and wearing them for $25. Like, no. I think I'm just gonna do a haul as I go in this video to show you the reality of my thrifting trips because you guys always say like how lucky I am or how good I am at thrifting but it takes a long time to build up to the thrift hauls that I do uh, it's not just a one trip thing and then I do a thrift haul it that's why I did them once a month because it would take a month of hunting um, you know regularly to find the things that I do find I found this backpack it is a Liz Claiborne backpack and it has a slight tear in the front here. I probably will sell this, to be honest. Um, but anytime I see a mini backpack, I buy it. Like, I don't care if... I don't care what what about it. <laughs> I, just, I just get it because I can either sell it or I will wear it myself. It's just my favorite means to carry things around in. I saw this vase and I showed you guys, but it called to me. Like, it is so gorgeous. And then as I was filming that clip, I turned it over and saw the price and I was like, no, thank you. And I put it back on the shelf. And then I walked away. I started looking in other sections and then I just, I, I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I went back and got it. I have no purpose for a vase right now. Like, I don't, I think everyone just needs a vase in case they get flowers. I don't know, but it is so gorgeous. It's like imperfect. It's crumpled. It's like the crumpled bag trend. Um, that happened a while ago, but it's like crumpled glass. Like it looks like crumpled paper almost. And it's so pretty. I tried on four pairs of pants. They, none of them fit. That's usually how it goes. I always try stuff on and maybe one out of 10 pairs I try on will fit. And then from there I decide if it's worth the price or not. So it's really rare for me to find pants, but a lot of my pants that I own are from the thrift store, ironically. So I guess it's just I've been collecting for a long time now. I have enough energy to go to another thrift store. Um, usually I only do one a day or one Goodwill a day or one Goodwill a trip or whatever, but I'm gonna go to the other Goodwill. I have been there probably a week ago, um, but I, I'm feeling like I need to go there. I don't know, it's a Monday, it's slow. Why not just drive over there and take a, take a look around, you know? Um, one thing that you should know about my thrifting is when I watch other people's thrift hauls, I don't want this to come across as, you know, weird or sound rude, but I am way more picky than other people. Um, I am just more realistic in my hunting because if I'm not going to wear it, I probably won't buy it. Or if I know for sure I can sell it, I will. But some people, it's their job to resell and that's what a lot of their thrifting is and they buy things based on brand name and if I were to do that I could have found so many things in there I don't buy on brand I don't care about Adidas or Tommy Hilfiger or anything like that I'll show it to you guys like in the clips and the b-roll but I'm not gonna buy it because I mean it's unlikely that I'm gonna wear it and it's unlikely I'm gonna sell it so I'm not gonna get it I'm just more realistic very very picky in my finds that's why um, it takes me so long to find enough stuff to do thrift hauls usually. So um, another thing, I skip women's clothes 90% of the time. I don't even look. Um, the only women's clothes I look at are pants um, because I do wear women's pants. I don't know, <laughs> something I haven't um, changed over in my wardrobe is into men's pants. But, you know, that probably won't ever happen. That's okay. Anyway, so yeah, I, I typically don't look at women's clothing at all besides their jackets and their jeans. Um, I, I just have never been successful really in the women's clothing, like tops, sweaters, and things like that. So I typically just pass on that. So let's go ahead and move on to the next Goodwill. Hopefully we can find something else and make today worthwhile. Although honestly, I would consider this so far kind of successful because I'm so in love with that vase. So for me, that's worth it.
that place was definitely a bust. I'm not sure what called me to go there, but I didn't find anything. I mean, there were some like pants I should have probably tried on, but didn't. Kind of a dud, which happens sometimes. I do leave empty handed some of the thrift trips that I do, but I think I'm done for the day. So, you know, the next bits of this vlog will be from other days. I don't even know what I'm doing yet with this video, but I'm just, you know, filming it as I go. Okay, today is day two of thrifting. I actually wasn't planning on going today. Um, I did the other clips yesterday, so it is the next day um, of this video. But uh, my friend Sarah and I are going to go downtown and see if we can go to a thrift store, maybe, or go to Eco Thrift, which is closer, but we're not really sure where we're going to end up today. But I thought I would start filming anyway, just in case we do go to a thrift store, um, so I can prepare you guys for what we're going to see. If we do go to a thrift store, it's not going to be a Goodwill. I think so that's exciting for you you can see some other thrift stores around me which I do want to include in this video anyway or maybe in my next thrift with me because this video is already very long um, but let's go sell um, I've talked about it before it is a consignment store and so basically <laughs> I'm sorry I got this candle which I've never purchased a candle thrifting before I know that's really random it's new it's a new soy candle whatever anyways but it smelled so bomb I had to buy it anyway I found two shirts there we're actually gonna go to eco thrift just really fast it's gonna be like I told her a fast pass so we're gonna make a fast pass through because it is such a big warehouse we don't have time I don't have time to like really sit and nor the energy to really pick through things so um, we're almost there but I found two shirts I got a Harley Davidson shirt they had so many Hooters shirts and I was wondering like I have one and I don't know if that's weird or if people like Hooters shirts but they they're like Really cool looking. I don't know. I, I should like have gotten one. How much were they? Like ten. I should have got one. They were really cute. And then I got a Earth Wind Fire fan tee. I, I found that one. Yeah, she found this one for me. I really love it. It's very worn in. Um, this was eight dollars, and I think this one twelve dollars. The Harley Davidson shirts are more expensive because they're more trendy right now. Everyone's buying Harley Davidson everything. But yeah, the Earth Wind Fire is really cool, and it's authentic 1998 tour shirt. Which these are so expensive on Depop. People sell vintage band tees on Depop for like 70 plus dollars. I saw one for $200 the other day and it's like... What band was it? I forget. But usually I find most of my clothes at freestyle, I'm not gonna lie, because it's amazing. And then a random candle. I definitely recommend checking out the candles. No success here. Shouldn't find anything. And we got Phil's. And Ginger Elizabeth's. really a 
hit or a miss here because why is this thirty dollars? Then you'll find backpacks that are like two or three dollars. Look at the black shirt. Cause that's all I really want, right? It's just black t-shirts. I don't know what somebody it smells doing. really weird in here today. It smells really bad. I wish you I mean I don't wish you guys could smell it because it's really bad, but only you knew. Clearly we have a little bit of a change. I'm so sorry about that. Like weird jump to this i don't even know this video is kind of all over the place but my camera died in the middle of filming an eco thrift so i am going to be purchasing a new vlog camera here soon because this is filmed entirely on my vlog camera and it's very very old it's broken and the battery life is really short i only filmed my thrift with me video on this camera and it died so fast after two days so I need a new camera but anyway eco thrift we like i said we did a super fast pass through i didn't find anything in the men's section um granted i was looking very quickly so i was mostly just looking at like i told you guys at the black shirts because usually that's all i buy from the men's section um but i did find a pair of shoes and that's what i wanted to end this video with for my first thrift with me i found these shoes they're ugly in the best way possible i think and they were super super cheap they look like this <laughs> they or what I call my summer boot. Um, I'm probably gonna wear these in the summertime because they're more of a sandal, but the front part is like a boot. So I'm really, really into these. They're so cute. They're not, oh, you know, terribly in good condition. They got stuff on the bottom. I can clean it up though. It's not that bad. The leather part isn't that bad. Um, I do only buy real leather if it's at the thrift store. I only buy it secondhand. You should know that. Um, but guess how much these were? You might've already seen the price. But at Eco Thrift, they were $2.98. I think I showed some of the pricing there as I was shopping. And you can just tell that some things are just really hit and miss. Like the backpacks, some are $30, some are $3. The t-shirts, most of them are like 99 cents to $2. Um, at least the men's shirts. And then sometimes the flannels will be ridiculous, especially if they're brand new. They up those prices so much. Um, and then their shoes are the same way. They have some that are like $30. I got my favorite Mark Fisher boot boots at eco thrift for $25 um, but definitely worth it I wear them almost every single day and then these were three dollars so it's really you have to hunt for the prices sometimes it's worth splurging though I'm not gonna lie like the Mark Fisher boots I love them wear them all the time so but yeah this is my last item so as you can tell in two days span I found a few items so it does take a while to find the items that I usually put in my thrift hauls. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of the reality of how I thrift, what I typically thrift and what I look for. I cannot wait to film the thrift tips video for you because I have so many like tips for you guys to how I thrift um, that I just couldn't share in this video to save for that video. Um, but do keep an eye out for that because I'm really excited about it. But yeah, let me know if you guys liked this kind of video. Obviously I only have limited amount of thrift stores around me. So we would probably travel to multiple of the same thrift stores over the course of filming these videos. But they do get new stock every single week. So I feel like that wouldn't be a problem with you guys um but let me know if you want me to film more of these i really really loved filming it and editing it so far so yeah i just i can't wait to hear your feedback on this kind of video and yeah let me know down below i hope you enjoyed and i will talk to you soon bye